Welcome to westernslopenow.com. Meteorologist Russ Pappas here. Look off into the distance with me, courtesy of America's Mattress Live Tower Cam. This is an eastbound view across the Grand Valley. Those clouds over the mountain zones. Not a big threat, but we're going to see a few storms on radar this evening. The Front Range has them, our central mountains have them, and the San Juans will have them as well. As far as these storms go, they're not really threatening floods. We don't have a severe thunderstorm criteria. We aren't even looking at red flag conditions. So these are just little pop and drops that have been with us since the middle of this past week and going to continue to be with us through this weekend. And by that, I mean isolated in nature, mostly not producing rain, but kicking out the wind and sticking to the higher elevations. Now, as far as the rain predictions go, again, mountain zones through the weekend and through the start of next week will just pick up very light amounts. Likely we'll see a few lightning strikes. We won't get a whole lot in the populated areas, rain buckets, but that's about our pattern. This is a slow infiltration from the subtropical regions to our south. This moisture is riding in underneath our current ridge of high pressure. That is allowing, along with the heat and the mountain zones, allowing these storms to kick off. The Tri-County area for the weekend, looking hot, looking dry. A little bit of a breeze, notwithstanding. I, you know, we'll probably go 25 to 35 mile per hour top wind gusts Saturday afternoon, just lightly breezier on Sunday and then Monday. But look at the heat. Grand Junction is supposed to be in the lower 90s this time of the year, so we're running hot. Now, these mountain storms are going to help deteriorate the atmosphere. The high pressure system is actually going to get pushed to the south from a Pacific low pressure. That's going to be skirting across the northern zones late weekend and early next week. Now that should have a significant impact. The repositioning of the high pressure system that's going to allow a lot more subtropical influence. So look at the middle of next week. We could see rain showers as early as Tuesday and as late as Friday morning, but it's looking like the middle of next week. We're going to get a cool down to and below the average temperature regime, but also we'll be looking at some of these storms again. And with these storms will come the hazard. Flood watches are expected because these are going to be brief, heavy downpours and they may not move all that much. So that could create some problems for the I-70 corridor, in particular, the Grizzly Creek burn scar. So be mindful of your plans for the middle and late next week if it entails traveling on the I-70 through the canyon. Grand Junction, that's how it plays out. Montrose, same situation. We're going to be watching those mountain storms. We're going to feel some gusty winds, not likely to get any measurable rain. We are going to be running our temperatures hotter than the average. Upper 80s, that's right about where we should be. And when that same midweek system passes us by and allows that subtropical source region rain to reappear in our forecast, that's going to lower our temperatures and increase our rain opportunities.